Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be simplifying a rational expression. We have 5 plus 5i divided by 2 plus i and 11 minus 7i divided by 4 minus i and we're gonna add these up. Now this might look like a pretty simple problem but if you're new to complex numbers this is actually going to be a good introduction to division and multiplication and addition and subtraction because we're going to be doing all of those. Now addition and subtraction with complex numbers is fairly easy. You just add like terms. The multiplication is done by using distributive property and the fact that i squared equals negative 1 which is very important by the way. Never forget that. And division is a little different because we can't just divide. So for example, if I tell you, can you divide 15 by five? And the answer is three, super duper quick. But I can't do the same thing with complex numbers because complex numbers have components or parts that kind of move in all directions, right? In different directions. So we have real part, imaginary part. Unfortunately, division is not that easy. Obviously one can come up with a formula, but I don't think anybody wants to memorize that. So. To be able to do a division, we kind of have to think about it differently. So before I start introducing my two methods, I'm going to briefly talk about an alternative approach, which is probably not going to be used, like, but for introduction, it's kind of nice. So if you're divide, trying to divide two complex numbers, you can set it as follows. Because when you divide two complex numbers, the set of complex numbers is actually closed under division. Is that right to say? I hope so. Uh, it's the quotient is also going to be a complex number. Let's call that a plus pi, which is appropriate for this channel, right? So from here, you can cross multiply and write this as 5 plus 5i, five or maybe write the uh, 2 plus i first times a plus pi equals 5 plus 5i. Five and then you can go ahead and distribute. This is going to give you 2a and then plus 2bi. I'm not going to make the joke because some people don't like it. Minus b equals 5 plus 5. Let me know, though, if you like those 2B jokes, as long as I don't do that all the time, right? Anyways, so from here we get 2A minus B along with 2B plus A. 2B plus A is going to be the imaginary part. And then what we have to do is set up the real parts and the imaginary parts separately. And then from here you're going to find A and B. Therefore, you're going to find the answer to the division problem, right? But such a long way, obviously, there is an easier way to do it. And there's actually two ways to do this problem. So let's go ahead and take a look at the two methods here. Because those methods are actually going to hopefully, uh, you know, let you practice some stuff. Anyways, so we have 5 plus 5i five divided by 2 plus i. And then the other one is 11 minus 7i divided by 4 minus i. So first method is going to focus on what we normally do with rational numbers or fractions. What do we do if we're adding two fractions with different denominators? If you said we're, we make a common denominator, you got it. So that's what we're going to do here. Let's multiply by 2 minus i. I mean, wait, pretend you didn't hear that. Multiply by 4 minus i. And here multiply by... 2 plus i because we're trying to what make a common denominator right great let's go ahead and distribute like 5 times 4 is 20 and then 5 times 4i minus 5i plus 20i minus 5i squared that's plus 5 and then i get 22 and then 11i minus 14i minus 7i squared that's a plus 7 and all of that is divided by haha a straight line and that's actually going to be, now if you multiply this, you only have to do it once. That's going to be an 8. And then minus 2i plus 4i minus i squared, which is plus 1. Awesome. Let's go ahead and simplify this. 20. So how do you add complex numbers? You basically add the real parts first. 20 plus 5 plus 22 plus 7. It's going to be 25, 47, 54. Awesome. And then you take care of the imaginary parts. Uh, basically combine like terms, 20i and 31, and it's going to be 17, and then going to be 12, right? Positive 12i, hopefully I didn't make any mistakes. It's going to become clear if I did. 8 plus 1 is 9, and 4i minus 2i is just 2i. Now you might be thinking, like, we had two division problems, now we have one, so it's better, but are we still going to divide? No. 
because we're going to take care, uh, take advantage of algebra here and factor the numerator, which is what makes this problem solvable by two methods, right? Take out a 6, you're going to get 9 plus 2i, and then 9 plus 2i. Awesome. They cancel out and leaving us with a 6. So the answer is 6. Wow, how, how simple that is. The first method is probably something you wouldn't use because the second method is better. But even if you did, you get a nice answer because the problem was designed that way. You're not always going to get the same uh, nice answer. But worst case scenario, you can still use the second method after the first method. But it's better if you just use the second method. Again, let me know what you think. Okay? Now, here's what we have again. 5 plus 5i divided by 2 plus i. I forgot what the problem was. And then 11 minus 7i. I can also talk about how I came up with this problem or how you can come up with these kinds of problems so that the answer will be nice. Anyways, so the second method uses conjugates. And the conjugates are actually really nice because what are conjugates? If you have z equals a plus bi, then a special number arises, which is called z bar, and that's a minus bi. So you just negate the imaginary part. But if you multiply z and z bar, you get a squared plus b squared, which is sum of two squares. By the way, in another video that I made on my other channel, or my, the main channel, if you want to call that cyber math, um, I did use this idea, sum of uh, two squares, to solve a polynomial equation for complex solutions. And then if you add these up, you get 2a, which is, again, a real number. So this is unique. The complex conjugate of a complex number is unique because it only satisfies, um, that's the only number that satisfies both of these equations. Make sense? Okay. So let's go ahead and multiply now by those. What are the conjugates? Well, we're going to go with the conjugate of 2 plus i first, which is 2 minus i. So let's go ahead and multiply it by those. And this one will be multiplied by 4 plus i. So to keep a long story short, it's not a, always a good idea to you make a common denominator. With complex numbers, it's better to use conjugates because the bottom, the denominators will be real, which is nice. So now if you distribute these again, let me erase these so I can use this area. And now we can go ahead and distribute again the same idea, 10 minus 5i plus 10i minus plus 5, okay? And since we don't make a common denominator, we can just uh, write a um, single numerator. And it's going to be 44 plus 11i minus 28i plus 7 divided by 17, 16 plus 1. Again, this is a sum of two squares. Make sense? Okay. Now let's go ahead and simplify the numerators. 10 plus 5 is 15 plus 5i divided by 5. You see that? And this is going to be 51 minus 17i divided by 17. How nice, of course. Now this is going to become, if you divide by 5, you're going to get 3 plus i. And the second one is going to give you 3 minus i. That's how you come up with a nice answer, which is 6 again. Now let me tell you how I kind of came up with this idea. So you take two complex numbers like 5 plus 5i and then divide them and you kind of get a nice answer. Here's how. And the answer turns out to be 3 plus i in this case and the other one is 3 minus i. So here's how I, uh, how I did it. I took a complex number, just randomly made it up and then another complex number randomly. Multiply these two and it gave me the numerator and boom, you can go from there. Forget about this number and divide these. Make sense? That's how division works. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.